So I have this table and I want to compute summation, count, average, and things like that in this table. I click here, I say equal to sum, right? And I click on my data, okay? And because I'm going to, don't worry, you don't need to record it. I will give you the recording, okay? So I compute the summation and then I lock it too because I'm going to copy it around. So I enter it, that is summation of these numbers. Now I come copy that summation down, I will go instead of sum, I will type count. Therefore it counted for me, which is 50. Then if I divide summation by count, that would be average. I can compute average in a different way too. Equal to average, of these numbers, enter, and that is the average. I will do the same, I copy this here, and paste it over there, control V, and go and instead of sum, I type max. So that is max over there. I copy that max down here, I click on it, and instead of max, I type min, and now I have max and mean, and I subtract max from mean, and I get the range, right? So, suppose I have, I want to create a histogram, right? So I'll go here, and I type equal to mean, which is here. Then I want to go from that one in steps of, say, 10 units. So if that is 52, I say equal to 52 plus 10. So it's from 52 to 62, right? Then at this one, I want it to start from 62. I type equal to 62. Then I copy this 62 down, and it will become 72. Then I copy this 70, 62 down, it will become 72. And this 72 down, it will become 82. And then I copy both of these numbers down, and I have 52 to 62, 62 to 72, and so on and so forth, right? But by this, the first 62, I really don't mean 62. I mean up to 61. Therefore, instead of adding 10 numbers to it, I will add nine numbers to it, nine. And then here, instead of saying it's equal to that one, I say equal to that one plus one. Now it is from 52 to 61, 62 to 71, and so on and so forth. So that is my range, okay? Now what am I going to do is to create a text here. What I will do, I say equal to 52 and, I put quotation, dash, quotation, that means from 62 to, and then I say and, and I click on this, and I enter it. Then I copy it down, and it will tell me these are 52 to 61, 62 to 71, and so on and so forth. Then I come here and I say equal to count if, count if. It tells me what is your range. I will go and select this range. And because I'm going to copy down, I lock it. So it will be that range. Criteria is what? I want it if it is less than or equal to 61. So I type quotation, less than, equal, quotation, and 61. Enter. There are two numbers less than 61. Then I copy it down. There are 17 numbers less than 71. Copy it down. 33 numbers less than 81. And 50 numbers less than 111. 
So that is frequency. Freak. That was my frequency. Now I say relative frequency. Relative frequency. I say this one. This one is equal to this one. The next one is equal to 17 minus 2. And if I copy it down, it will give me the number of observations in each category. I think somewhere I made a mistake, and that is plus, plus, instead of my, oh, no, that is equal to this one minus this one, enter, and then this is, okay, this 15 is equal to 17 minus 2, enter, and then I copy it down. Now things are correct because if I say summation of these numbers, it is 50, and I have not made any mistake. And this was not, uh, this is indeed cumulative frequency. I added all of them, and this is frequency. Frequency means how many numbers are in that range. If you don't follow, and because I'm recording, I'm not going to stop that part, but I need to get back to the finish. Let me tell you what I did. Here I computed how many up to 61. Here, how many up to 101. And here I found the difference, how many between 89 and 91. These are frequencies. The one which is computes in that category, it's called frequency. The one that computes up to that category, including that category, is called Relative is called cumulative frequencies. Now I want to translate cumulative frequencies into relative cumulative frequencies and frequencies into relative frequencies. What I will do is this. What I will do, I come here and say equal to 2 divided by 50 and lock it. So that would be relative cumulative frequency because at the end I get 1. So here I type equal to relative and this one, relative space and this one. So that is relative cumulative frequency. And if I want to compute cumulative frequency, I type cumulative, I type, and if I want to compute relative frequency, I type relative frequency. And in that one, I say equal to this one divided by 50, which is summation of all numbers and lock it. And then I will copy it down. That will give me relative frequencies. 